Good morning, and welcome to Our Lady of Perpetual Help Parish and our Eucharistic celebration for the solemnity of the most holy body and blood of Christ. A warm welcome is extended to all of you who join us virtually. Today we celebrate the great feast of the church and the great mystery. It is a mystery we celebrate every time we attend mass. The mystery that we are the body of Christ because we are fed by Jesus's own body and blood in the Eucharist. Today we thank God for giving us the great gift of the Eucharist. Do we appreciate its riches and let its teaching influence our lives? The proclaimer and commentator will be myself, Austin Arsenault. Please welcome our celebrant Father Marcello by joining the musicians with our voices in singing, Alleluia, sing to Jesus. everybody. Good morning, Father. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. All our lives have places of wilderness, of hungers, thirst, and fears. In all this, in all our weakness, we know that our loving Father guides and cares for us. So we bring before the Lord our struggles and failings, knowing he will help us. You are the living bread. Come down from heaven. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You give yourself for the life of the world. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You invite us to eat your flesh and drink your blood. Lord, have mercy. 
Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And on sacrament have left us a memorial of your passion. Grant us, we pray, so to revert the sacred mysteries of your body and blood that we may always experience in ourselves the fruits of your redemption, who live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people. Remember the long way that the Lord your God has led you these 40 years in the wilderness. In order to humble you, testing you to know what was in your heart, whether or not you would keep his commandments. He humbled you by letting you hunger, then by feeding you with manna, with which neither you nor your ancestors were acquainted, in order to make you understand that man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. Do not exalt yourself, forgetting the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery, who led you through the great and terrible wilderness, an arid wasteland with poisonous snakes and scorpions. He made water flow for you from flint rock and fed you in the wilderness with manna that your ancestors did not know, to humble you and to test you, and in the end, to do you good. The word of the Lord. Lord, oh, Joe. 
Jerusalem, raise your God, O Zion, for he strengthens the bars of your gates. He blesses your children within you. peace within your borders. He fills you with the finest of wheat. He sends out his command to the earth. His word runs swiftly. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He declares his word to Jacob statutes and ordinances to Israel. He has not dealt thus with any other nation. They do not know his ordinances. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the cup of blessing that we bless, is it not a sharing in the blood of Christ? The bread that we break, is it not a sharing in the body of Christ? Because there is one bread, we who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hail the food of angels given to the pilgrim who has striven to the child as bread from heaven. Food alone for spirit mend. Now the former time is fulfilling. Isaac bound a victim willing. Paschal lamb is life blood spilling. Manna to the ancient sent. Bread yourself, good shepherd, tend us. Jesus, with your love, befriend us. You refresh us and defend us. To your lasting goodness and us. That the land of life we see, Lord, who all things both rule and know, who on this earth such food bestow. Grant that with your saints we follow to that banquet ever hollow with them heirs and guests to be. Lord, 
be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the people, I am the living breath that came down from heaven. Whoever eats of this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give for the life of the world is my flesh. The people then dispute among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? So Jesus said to them, Very truly, I tell you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise them up on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me, and I in them. Just as the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father, so whoever eats me will live because of me. This is the breath that came down from heaven, not like that which your ancestors ate, and they died. But the one who eats this breath will live forever. Jesus said these things while he was teaching in the synagogue at Capernaum. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome, my brothers and sisters, to today's celebration of the most holy body and blood of Christ. A special welcome to all those who joined me virtually this weekend. Thank you for allowing me to reach your homes and families and be able to celebrate our faith and share the word of God with all of you in these difficult times. Today, the second Sunday after Pentecost, we celebrate a second solemnity which marks our return to ordinary time in the liturgical calendar. Today is the solemnity of the most holy body and blood of Christ. At one time, this day was called Corpus Christi, the Latin words for the body of Christ. The purpose of the celebration today is to remind us all of the importance and joy of receiving the Eucharist. It is a feast celebrated in remembrance of Jesus who gave his life for the salvation of the world. After having seen Jesus multiply the loaves and the fish, the crowd ran after him, perhaps looking for more food, but also looking for another sign. Jesus tells the crowd that he is the bread of life, that just as God gave the Israelites manna to sustain them in the wilderness, now God has sent a new manna that will give them eternal life. 
It is in this context that Jesus repeats those words in today's gospel and tells them again that he is the living breath that came down from heaven. Jesus tells them that when they eat his flesh and drink his blood, they will remain forever connected to him. These are difficult words and sometimes difficult to understand. But they are important because they seek to show us our intimate connection with Jesus. The Eucharist is a memorial of Christ's sacrifice on the cross. We believe that Jesus is truly present to us in the elements of bread and wine. Each time we celebrate this sacrament, we prepare for the kingdom of God. And through the body and blood of Christ, we can receive our blessed hope the assurance of our salvation, and the necessary strength to persevere in this world. This celebration, as the Second Vatican Council taught us, is the source and summit of the Christian life. Today's feast invites us to stop for a while and reflect more deeply on this great mystery of the Eucharist and renew our living faith in it. To be invited to Mass is to be invited to share Christ's life or love with the Father. It is an invitation, too, to recognize that here we find ourselves one with all God's people. As St. Paul reminds the Corinthian Christians, because there is one bread, we who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. From the moment the coronavirus started and the diocese made the decision to close the churches, to safeguard the safety, of the faithful, we had all submitted ourselves to rigorously following the government's recommendations. However, we cannot deny that there has been a real sadness for many of us. For several months, we have not been able to return to the church to celebrate the Eucharist and receive the Holy Communion. Nevertheless, our fellowship and the need to be connected have been strengthened during these days. We have been physically distanced, but socially connected as a community through radio, television, or the internet, while sharing masses, prayers, meetings, and other events virtually. As Christians, we know the need to be physically together as a community of faith, and we do not lose hope. There will come a time, eventually, when we will meet again, pray our own devotions, sing our favorite hymns, and receive the body and blood of Christ together again, even though we know we will have to follow the different security protocols for the safety of everyone. My brothers and sisters, as we celebrate the Holy Mass today, let us be thankful for the life of Jesus that is given to us when bread and wine become body and blood, and so let us remember throughout the week that as new creations, we are called to feed on the sacrament, the Holy Eucharist, so the body and blood of Christ 
may transform us in His likeness. Amen. Now, let us renew our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. God, our Father, is always ready to feed his people, trusting in his loving providence. We bring before God our needs and desires. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray on this feast that a living and active faith in the Eucharist will be renewed throughout the church. May each of us learn through sharing in the mass our mission of being food and drink for others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us remember all those who serve at the altar of the Eucharist. May the Pope, bishops, priests, deacons, and ministers of the Eucharist be blessed by their service. And may those God, and may those God calls into this sacramental ministry find support and love they need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We remember those who cannot receive the sacrament of Christ's body and blood in this time of pandemic. May those who are sick and those experiencing any kind of obstacle between them and the church's celebrations be brought more and more deeply into the love of the Father. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that we may all learn to have more trusting hearts. Even in times of wilderness, may those burdened by illness or anxieties in everyday life receive the fullness of life Jesus offers us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died and for those whose anniversaries are remembered at this time, that they may have a seat at the heavenly banquet. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our personal intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, hear all these our prayers. In what we ask in faith, may you grant to your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation. For to your goodness we have received the breath we offer you, fruit of the earth and word of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation. For to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and water of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins, O God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant your church, O Lord, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace, whose signs are to be seen in mystery, in the offerings of we here present through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he is the true and eternal priest who instituted the pattern of an everlasting sacrifice and was the first to offer himself as the saving victim, commanding us to make this offering as his memorial. As with his flesh, that was sacrificed for us, we are made strong. And as we drink his blood that was poured out for us, we are washed clean. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took breath and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, a need of it. For this is my body, which will be given out for you. (laughs) 
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Noel Simar, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coherent to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Today I'm celebrating this Eucharist for all our intentions. Especially today we pray for all those who pass away during this week. We pray for all their families. Through him and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to sing. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive. And lead 
us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace at home with all your family members. Peace be with you. Peace. Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ be be to everlasting life. Prayer of Spiritual Communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
on earth below. He as man with man conversing stayed the seas of truth to sow. Then he closed in solemn order, wondrously his life of woe. On the night of that last supper, seated with his chosen band, he the paschal victim eating, first fulfills the law's command, then as food to his apostles gives him himself with his own hand. Word made flesh the bread of nature, by his word to flesh he turns. Wine into his blood he changes, one of those sense no change discerns. Saving victim opening wide The gates of heaven to us below Our foes press on from every side Thy aid supply, thy strength bestow. To thy great name be endless praise. Immortal God, head one in three. O oh, grant us endless length of days in our true native land with thee.
Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that we may delight for all eternity in that share in your divine life, which is foreshadowed in the present age by our resection of your precious body and blood, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Down in adoration falling, lo, the sacred host we hail. Lo, our ancient forms departing, newer rites of grace prevail. Faith for all defects supplying, where the feeble senses fail. To the everlasting Father and the Son who reigns on high, with the Holy Ghost proceeding, Forth from each eternally be salvation, honor, blessing, might and endless majesty. In the name of our Lady of Perpetual Hell, I would like to thank all of you for your generous support. Thank you for everything you do for our community. A special thanks to all my collaborators, to all who helped me to um, celebrate this Mass, because uh, we are all together. And thank you to all the pastoral planning team, uh, the wardens, uh, all people who are helping to prepare the church for the reopening. Thank you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Have a nice week and remember that God loves you. Thank you for being here. Holy God, we praise thy name. Lord of all, we bow before thee. All on earth thy scepter claim. All in heaven above adore thee. Infinite thy vast domain. Everlasting is thy reign, infinite thy vast domain, everlasting is thy reign. Hark the loud celestial hymn, Angel choirs above are raising, cherubim and seraphim, in unceasing chorus praising, fill the heavens with sweet accord, Holy, holy, holy Lord, fill the heavens with sweet accord.
کن 